Hi, Algebra 1. Um, in this video, I'm just going to talk about what standard deviation really means. We've been seeing it just as a number um, that pops up that tells us how variable the data is. Um, but this goes a little bit deeper into what it really means. You're not going to be expected to calculate it by hand, so don't worry about that. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's not what we're talking about here. Um, so to give us an example, um, let's say we have some friends and let's say these are the amounts of money in their savings account. I'm keeping the numbers small on purpose just to make it easier to work with here. Um, the mean of this data is $47 and the standard deviation is 30, or in this case it would mean $30. The label in a problem, um, or whatever you're talking about in a problem, that does go along with standard deviation. Then um, this curve over here is reminding us that standard deviation works well when your data is symmetric um, or if it has that, that bell-shaped curve that we've talked about before. And let's put our mean on here. That would be $47. Now, since the standard deviation is $30, um, you see this right here. It says plus one standard deviation. So we would add on one standard deviation. So that would take us to $77. Over here, this says minus one standard deviation. So we would subtract $30 or subtract one standard deviation, and we'd be down to $17. And what this is telling us is that 68% of our data is going to fall within one standard deviation of the mean, or 68% of our data is going to fall between 17 and $77. Um, you could think of this in a bigger sense, meaning that 68% of um, students would have a bank account between 17 and 77 dollars you could do it that way um, as we keep going out on this graph now we get to two standard deviations so that would be adding on another standard deviation or another 30 dollars and so now you'd be at 107 and we could do minus two standard deviations this way or subtract another 30 dollars now we're going to be in the negatives over here at negative 13 dollars and what we're saying now is that 95% of people who we survey for this would have a bank account somewhere between negative $13, meaning they owe money, or up to $107. Now, looking at our data here, we see that all of our data falls within two standard deviations of the mean. But um, remember, our standard deviation is being calculated based on the idea that this is just a small sample of the whole population. Um, so there you have it. We could keep going out to three standard deviations, but um, there you have like what the basic idea of what a standard deviation really means is. And um, again, you're not going to be expected to calculate it. You're not going to be expected to um, explain how this works on a quiz or anything. This is just if you're interested or um, want to explore more. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.